Are you using the Performance Max campaign? Do you know how to optimize your Performance Max campaign? Or are you getting the result you want from your Performance Max campaign? If not, in this video, I'm gonna show you how I do my Performance Max campaign review, how I go to the search terms, how I see the search term, how I see the audience. Now the Google has given us the ability to see the search term inside the Performance Max campaign. Yes, inside the Performance Max campaign where we can see what kind of search terms are people are doing inside the Performance Max campaign. That can be a very helpful and then you can target all those terms inside the Performance Max campaign and see if your result get better uh, inside the Performance Max campaign. Let's go to the screen share where I will show you my method how I review the Performance Max campaign. So this is the one of the Performance Max campaign which we are running and uh, this been running from since July and we are seeing a very good result with this one. And uh, before in the Performance Max campaign, um, it was not giving us a, enough data to see, but now as the it is getting, the Performance Max is getting better and better, we can see that a lot of insight in the insight tab. So once you in your Performance Max campaign, just go in insight and then you can see that you can see the data from last seven days or last 28 days or you can do it here from last seven or last 28 days okay so this one is we seeing a data from the last 28 days and then you can see up here this is the all the search terms which we have and then you can see that what sort of search terms are bringing the conversion so you can see up here in this here you can do all the custom if you need to see if you need to compare the data from the last 30 days to previous 30 days you can do that one or you can customarily check how, how many we are doing so if we go from here from July to just open, close this one from July to September all the way here and then apply and you can see that okay so these are the terms which are which are bringing the conversion so you can if you see that and then you can dig deeper and see what kind of uh, sub searches are belonging to this particular search terms and then you can see and if if that make a sense to your business then you can add them in your in your keywords uh, inside the performance max campaign okay and then you can see this is all the details up here okay and once you go in the detail and then you can see that what how many conversions are coming, what sort of clicks, what sort of impression, conversion value, click through rate, and everything is here. And then it is broken down further. See, and then if you see that any term which is related to your business, then you can you can copy them and then you can put in your keywords section of the Performance Max campaign, okay? So before this one, this data was not available, but as, as Performance Max is getting better and better, and they are providing us more information okay and the second thing you can do that here is let's go back in the inside and then you can see up here is your audience signal so at the moment as you can see that it's showing us like what sort of uh, clicks and what sort of uh, audience segment is uh, giving us the click and what sort of the audience signal which are giving us the audience segment as you can see that they are in a green so we need to optimize them what we need to do is we need to go in our asset group and then we need to target all this one in in inside our performance max campaign so which we gonna do it today for this client this particular client okay so you can see the 10 audience signal as in my previous video as where i share that performance max is not limited to to the audience which we provide to the performance map it goes beyond uh, our audience and see if any other audience which can convert better uh, in our given audience so what we can do from here with if, if i would be as i would be optimizing for this campaign i would be going in our asset groups and making it this particular audience trip to sydney and then uh, making a particular ad related to that particular audience okay and if the audience is coming in a blue and if you can see that in here see this is the this is the signal which we have already given to google okay so aspiring chefs that this audience we have already made inside the pro in our asset group and which is giving us the conversion okay so if we once we're gonna optimize this one we're gonna make a audience for this particular audience this audience segment then they're gonna turn out in the blue so any new audience which is gonna come up here will be in the green so we this is the thing which we need to do for here okay the next thing we gonna do we need to see what sort of the asset we have made inside the performance max campaign which we're gonna have here and then we're gonna see what sort of conversion they are bringing to us okay so what are we gonna do here is come up here and then go in 
listing group so these are all the all the uh, the listing group we have all the asset group we have and then you can see that what sort of conversion they are bringing to to this particular performance max campaign as uh, this this is the all the audience which we have made in here and then you can see that all the conversion they are bringing towards this one the very good example in here is this particular asset group which is a luxury shopper this signal has been given by google to us and then we made the audience around around luxury shopper and then as you can see that all the all the conversion which this this luxury shopper has bring to this particular um, performance max campaign is around 70 all conversion inside in here and the, the, and then you can see that the cost per click is very low in this one 74 cent and the cost of all conversion is around two dollar 86 the another thing you can do that is you can go in the product and see what sort of product or which product are are um, are bringing the more conversion so what we need to do here is go up in a product and then you can see that okay which product is bringing all the conversion and then you can make a separate group around of around of that particular product like these products like one two three four five six seven eight nine so these are like this particular product which is which is bringing all the conversion up here and then what we can do here is we can we can specifically made the group of these products which are performing well in term of the conversion or and then then target those particular product inside the performance max campaign so it's it's basically like finding out which are the winner inside the performance max campaign and then making it separate group for that particular um, uh, products and then target them accordingly so that way you can see that okay yes uh, these are the winner and i'm gonna i'm gonna target them and uh, and uh, see if they uh, i'm gonna put more money onto them and then see if they can perform better so yep yeah. and if you see any any problem with the, anything like let's say so there is a there is a four product which has been disapproved because we have updated the url of those uh, for this particular four product which we're gonna fix that one so if you see any of the issue with your particular products it will all gonna come up here so all the, this 102 products which is in this um, in this tab are pretty good so so these are the particular four product which we need to fix okay and then you can see up here content if we if you have uh, any content you which you don't want to show your ad it will show up here if you have made any exclusion and then you can see your location you can see all the location where you are targeting your ad or any other location which you are not targeting so as we are only targeting the part of the sydney which is um, up here up here and then we are not showing any ad outside of uh, this particular state so inside a particular this new south wales state we are only showing around 10 10 to 12 kilometer of the radius of the business okay so in the ad schedule pattern in you can see like where is my ad or how my ad has been scheduled what you can review up from here you can see that and uh, what time during or which day the most conversions are coming and then if you see any pattern inside in here then you can do the bid adjustment as you can see that this particular day we are getting the most conversion in 80 81 or something like that in here so if if you see any pattern you can adjust the bidding so uh, bidding adjustment like a 10 percent or negative or if you see the decline if you see that is in that particular period it's not converting then you can do the negative bid adjustment as well so this is how i review my performance max campaign inside the google ad this is a continuous process where you have to be keep checking what sort of search terms are coming or what sort of a new audience coming inside the performance max campaign and see if those particular audience are providing enough conversion or if those particular search terms or new searches are coming inside your performance max can you add them to your um, keyword strategy and put and target those particular keywords and see if those can bring more conversion to you on cheaper and more effective way so that's how i do it when i'm managing my performance max campaign for my clients or for myself as well and um, that's so far is working for me i hope this can provide you the enough value to see if they can improve your own performance max campaign and if you have any question regarding the performance max uh, how to review or how to scale that performance max campaign uh, you can just mention in a comment and i will reply as soon as i can other than that i will see you in the next video thank you very much